my new bun heat and brew uh, coffee maker and uh, just wanted to show you how it unboxes I'll uh, show you later how I go about setting it up and making a cup of coffee with it bun is considered the uh, gold standard for a cup of coffee uh, offices have been using it and bun has been a uh, leader in coffee makers since 1840 so uh, here we go Inside the box is another box, and I'm going to have to put the phone down in order to get this, so I'll pause this. And now that I've gotten it out of the original box, open up the box. And you see what the it says how to brew shows how to do everything you need to do and so you read that and then it has their advertisement of why you should use their drip coffee maker and uh, yeah that's one of the reasons I got it was because of the uh, uh, the brewing temperature brewing temperature should be um, from 197 to 203 according to the uh, SCAA so it fits that it has a uh, shower head inside of it so uh, it's one of those things that it just it's one of the best coffee makers you can get as a drip drip uh, coffee maker and uh, so you open it up and you get the manual I'll be using the English side put that to the side and I wanna mm, it's gonna be a little difficult trying to get this out So the uh, inside of the box, the, the other uh, things that come in with it are the lid to the carafe and everything else is placed within the uh, coffee maker. And um, now I'm going to take off the plastic and show you what's up with that. Remember that the uh, the coffee maker has uh, a hot plate on it, so you can keep your coffee hot. Some uh, have a thermal carafe, which won't have a hot plate. So uh, just know that if you buy this model, you've got a hot plate, and you want to make sure you don't scorch your coffee. rinse before using isn't that nice well uh, every time you buy a brand new machine that you use for cooking 
always wash all the parts before using. Uh, make sure it's really clean because you never know. There might be metal uh, shavings or glass shavings or whatever. Uh, so just be common sense will help here. So clean it all up inside the uh, hopper comes a, uh, a package of uh, bun uh, coffee filters this coffee maker and all bun coffee makers have a special coffee filter you have to buy for them you can buy a permanent uh, metal uh, filter but uh, Right now, it's cheaper to just use these. So, uh, yeah, these these are a little higher and will be better for your bun. Uh, you won't have any spillover if you use these filters. Okay, this is the uh, way to set the time and the auto start for the uh, bun. Uh, heat and brew uh, this uh, coffee maker is special in that it uh, holds the water uh, until it comes to the correct temperature before it drains into the uh, grounds hopper and starts to make the coffee so um, that's a really nice feature uh, most buns do this but they have a reservoir in most of the other models this one the reservoir is on top and it boils right there on top when you put it in uh, it doesn't have a reservoir where it sits and has to be on all the time so you can basically turn this thing off and and keep going um, let's get on with the time if you have the, the base should be blank and uh, no lights on and then you hit the time button when you hit the time button it flashes now this is where you t change it you hit the hours and the minutes and make sure it's a.m. p.m. it'll flash for 10 seconds and then it goes and sets it so if you want to set it it takes 10 seconds one two three four seven eight nine ten see okay so the time is set my auto uh, start is set for 420 you do the same thing change the hour and the minute you've got 10 seconds to do it if you don't it'll flash and then go back now when you do that the auto start will turn on that means that it's ready to go it's ready to start to brew at the time that you just set it and it will go ahead and and uh, start the brew cycle once uh, you have done that if you don't want the uh, auto start to start and you want to brew right away you just hit the button hit the brew button and it'll start so I'm gonna put my coffee that's in the filter this is Starbucks French roast and um, I'm ready to go. Now that the time and the auto uh, auto start has been set, I am going to now take out the uh, shower head underneath the hopper. This is your hopper where you put the grounds in. And underneath is a little shower head that's finger tight. And you can just remove it, clean it, get it done. So once my carafe is clean and all these little pieces are clean, I'll reassemble it and we'll get to brewing. Good morning everyone. This is how I make a uh, pot of coffee in my new bun. Uh, this is the uh, 
how this is the steps I take. I measure out the four uh, cups. Each cup is about five ounces, so I measured out uh, to the line of uh, four on the, on the decanter to the carafe, and uh, then I just pour it in. Notice that all the lights are out. I pour it in. The new uh, pour spout that uh, Bun has put onto their carafe is a real help. It's a really good feature. And then I take out the hopper. I put it. I put in a filter. And now I'm going to put in three tablespoons of coffee. This coffee maker makes very strong coffee. Uh, I was using uh, a quarter cup of uh, grounds, but this coffee uh, maker, this uh, heat and brew is very good at doing the extraction that I needed to do. So I only need three tablespoons now with these grounds. Uh, it, as it is, uh, it depends on your grounds. It depends on the coffee you're using. Uh, you know, the roast. But uh, what I used to use four tablespoons or a quarter cup, now I'm using one tablespoon less because it's just too strong. So there's my three tablespoons. I shake it down to make sure that the grounds are nice and even. Put it in the slots. Close the lid and I hit brew. Now, this coffee maker takes a while to uh, start to boil the water up topside, but it won't throw it to the grounds until after the water is uh, at temperature. So when the water boils up to at temperature and it starts to drip, I'll start the video again. As you can hear, it has started to boil. And now it's brewing. Okay, it finally stopped uh, dripping and uh, the automatic burner plate came on automatically and is keeping it warm and so now I'm gonna just pour this cup of coffee now this uh, machine does such a good job at extraction that what you might have used in a mr. coffee might be too strong so you gotta to check it out see which one uh, how much uh, coffee and water ratio you like um, you know, the golden cup is actually what you like. So, uh, as with all, uh, coffee makers, you've got to measure it out, try it, next pot, try it, 
see if change change the measurements change the water see see what you know you like and go with it and so I'm ready for this cup of coffee and uh, I know it's gonna be good so yeah that hits the spot yeah that that that's that's a great cup of coffee mm -hmm. that's gonna set my morning off right all right thanks for watching bye